All right, today's chest day, guys. We're gonna be focusing primarily on building that upper shelf, that upper chest, which we all sought after. We're also gonna show you how to get that definition right between the middle of the pecs. So what I got going on here is exercise number one. I arranged the pulley machine, the cable flies, with no handles, believe it or not. Take a step back, and just try to focus on those inner pecs, squeezing and contracting at the end. One, two, back out. One, two, and this really lights up the center of your chest. So here, what we're gonna do is four sets. We're gonna start very light. You don't need a lot of weight to activate your pecs on this particular movement, but you're gonna feel such a stretch on your upper pectorals. And then towards the peak of the contraction, all that blood moves right to the center. Hold that two seconds. So let's aim for four sets, eight to 10 reps each. Oh. One important note here is I don't want you guys doing this, okay? I want you guys doing this, getting your chest out. Your chest should be in front of your delts, okay? Not the other way around. And really squeezing your pecs together. You have to have the emphasis on the pecs in order to hit your pecs. You got to feel your pecs. All right, right into exercise number two. Now that we're nice and stretched out, what we can do is some flat dumbbell press, but we're gonna challenge ourselves by adding some extra resistance by using this band, okay? So what I have here is a heavy band that I loop my thumbs into, pulling behind my back, underneath my shoulder blades, and then I grip the dumbbells and start pressing for constant tension. That's what these bands are good for, is constant tension on the pectorals. Another great thing about these bands is it actually promotes you to rotate your shoulder blades backwards. This way you activate your chest more, puts you in a nice posture, nice position. But be careful. This feels like an extra 30 or 40 pounds. Oh yeah. Ugh. 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 This band fights you, so on the way down, you actually gotta struggle to keep the weights from flying backwards. It's an incredible movement. We're gonna do three sets with the band, then we're gonna remove the band once we get to our heavy weight and rep out two sets that way. That was the set, that was three sets with the band. Now that we worked our way up to our heavy lift, we're gonna remove the band. Judging by the fact that I only got five reps, without the band I should get 10 to 12 easy. All right, so at the moment, what we're doing is I'm in my mass building phase. So I'm actually gonna go up in weight. So I did 10 reps of 100 pound dumbbells rather easily. So I wanna get to a weight where I feel comfortable around seven or eight. So that's my sweet spot. You always wanna challenge yourself and try to go heavier if you can. Um, right now I'm resting between 30, 45 seconds between sets. And we're only doing two sets without the band. Ugh. 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 Oh. 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 
All right, exercise number three. Let's wait no time. We are doing some more dumbbell flies. What I'm doing is sort of an incline dumbbell flies where I'm actually exaggerating my hyperextension off of a preacher curl pad. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. So similar to exercise number one, really stretching out this upper pectoral and uh, wow, if you don't feel that, then there's something wrong with you. So this preacher bench allows us to do two things great. Number one, it forces you to poke your chest out. And number two, I don't know if you can keep an eye on my elbows, but I'm actually going behind the pad, okay? I'm not stopping at the pad. I'm going far behind and really emphasizing that stretch all in the upper pecs. Every good chest workout needs a nice incline press, okay? So we're gonna use a nice incline machine press, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do pause presses to build explosive strength, okay? So we're gonna keep it heavy, but really focus on our speed on the way up. So this is the next exercise. We only have a few more left. All right, too light, too, too light. So if you guys don't have a machine like this in your gym, don't worry. You could do this actually in the squat rack. So we're gonna set up the arms in the squat rack, come down, pause for a second, reset our shoulders, press. Slow on the way down, reset our shoulders, press. So that was set number two, guys. Easy again, I did eight easy reps. That's not what I'm after. I'm after for a tough six reps. So I'm gonna keep on increasing the weight until I get that tough, struggling six repetitions and nothing more. I want you to pay attention to my setup real quick. What I do is when I plop myself into the seat, initially I lay down, and now what I do is I'm gonna press with my head to lift up my upper chest, okay? I'll do it again for you guys slowly. I'm pressing with my head, retracting shoulder blades back before I start pressing. Oh. 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 Ah. oh, that's the weight. All right, I'm gonna stay there. That was a tough five. I wanted six, but it's good enough. Oh. Now, to conclude our chest workout today, we're gonna finish with guillotine presses on the Smith machine. The reason they call them guillotine is that if you F up, you're gonna slice your own neck just like a guillotine. You'll see what I'm talking about, but we're gonna superset them immediately with close grip hammer presses, which is really gonna burn up that inner chest. Set up on this bench is a little bit different than the conventional bench press because I'm actually trying to hang my head a little bit over the pad. This way it's more conducive, gives me a little bit more room to get that full range of motion as close to my chest and neck as possible. That's why they call it guillotine press. You guys notice what I'm doing here is not only am I pressing the weight, but I'm trying to maximize the range, the travel at which the dumbbells are going. To do so, I'm not holding them totally parallel to the floor. I'm actually having them a little bit in at an angle 
which helps recruit and activate some more fibers in my chest. Oh. Oh, first movement, talk about a pump on that top shelf. That's exactly what we want. We want the bar as close to our neck, almost as if it's choking you before you explode up. And now here, with these close grip hammer presses, not only am I using my energy to force the weights upwards, but I'm also squeezing those dumbbells together to get an even deeper contraction in that middle chest. So guys, take a good look as to the path of the bar. The bar isn't mid chest. It's actually above my chest, right above that upper shelf, right near my neck. Explode. Stretch, 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 stretch. Explode. Oh. Now that was my chest workout, a little unorthodox, but I promise you guys, you will be feeling the pump in no time. I wanna thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and peace out.